Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Eagle Forum Capitol Hill update. I'm Tabitha Walter, Eagle Forum's political director. And I'm Kirsten Hassler, our executive director. After weeks of deliberation, 10 Republican senators came to an agreement with Democrats on a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. The 2,702 page bill was not seen by the public and likely most senators until Sunday, two days after the Senate voted to advance it to the floor. Not only did many Republican senators make seedy deals behind closed doors, but they are also defending a bill saturated with, of course, leftist extremism. Mm -hmm. The House already passed their version called the Invest in America Act, H.R. 3684. It was filled with President Joe Biden's made up, quote, human infrastructure policies that included critical race theory training, Green New Deal policies, a Medicare expansion, universal pre-K and subsidized child care on the American taxpayer dime. Fortunately, Senate Republicans stripped many of these woke policies out and added actual infrastructure that would be covered from leftover emergency funds. Well, at least that's what they're messaging on. We all know that the devil is in the details of these bipartisan bills. In reality, only $110 billion goes towards true infrastructure. Much of this amount is tied up in earmarks, including $1 trillion to the Appalachian Regional Commission, a program that was likely used to persuade Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia to vote for the bill. The rest of the $1.09 trillion is spent frivolously on ways to advance leftist ideology. Democrats' new buzzword, equity, is written 64 times throughout the bill. Then they try to fix racism and gender discrimination by forcing equal opportunity mandates and bias trainings. Construction workers, bus drivers, and train conductors cannot simply do their jobs anymore. They will be forced to attend these brainwashing sessions and may even be replaced to meet a racist or sexist quota. An entire section of the bill is ded dedicated to climate change. It appropriates $7.5 billion for electric charging stations $10 billion to help bees along highways, encourages young children to walk up to two miles to school, and establishes a pathway toward taxing Americans every mile driven. The Senate Republicans who are pushing this through are being compliant with very dangerous policies. But some Republican senators are fighting against this bill, one being Senator Mike Lee from Utah. His pay less, bill more amendment replaced the text of the infrastructure bill with policies that would limit the bill to infrastructure only provisions, relieve debt that has already incurred from past infrastructure spending, lower federal gas taxes, and empower state and local entities to craft their own infrastructure plans, among other measures. Now, this is the kind of fiscal conservatives, conservatism I like to see. Unfortunately, the amendment failed 78 to 20. The Senate is currently taking up additional amendments and will vote on a final passage either this week or next. Democrats may use the budget reconciliation process afterward to add back in the provisions that were removed and include amnesty measures that would worsen the border crisis. Eagle Forum has shafted an alert on this matter. Please visit eagleforum.org to send your senator an email asking that they oppose the passage of the infrastructure bill. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for our emails and alerts so you can stay up to date on all the latest happenings here in Washington, DC. If you have any questions about today's report, please post them below. And we'll plan to see you here next week at 2 p.m. Eastern. See ya.